So if you want to be able to compare the differences of the types of books over the last two years, the best thing to look at is the percentage change. So what we'll do is we'll go into this column, click this for a formula, okay, so it's going to be two steps, so we're going to put our bracket in. So we're looking at the difference between 2012 to 2014, okay, so if we look at it logically, we know that this has gone down, so we're looking for a minus answer. So it's going to be this one, take away this, okay, so that's close our bracket, and we're always going to divide it by what we had originally, which is that. Okay, so that's given it to us in a decimal. So we'll copy it all down there for now, okay. If we want to have it as a percentage, times by 100, same thing, bring it all down. Okay, if we want to change the amount of decimal places we have in it, so if we want to make it slightly more, more accurate, have that way you can see the bottom ones here didn't work out as an even even number. Um, but chances being you probably won't need all that. So that will give it to you to one decimal place. Okay. This is on general number. So if you wanted to it to do the the percentage part for you automatically, all that does is it means that you don't need to multiply it by a hundred because it'll change the decimal into a percentage automatically. So if we do that one there and then we change the percentage and it automatically does it okay it keeps keeps all the numbers in memory and um, so when you when you increase and reduce the decimal places it remembers what's there so you can see there that that one has gone down by 21 percent this has gone up by 60 and a half percent etc yeah then you could you could order them again looking at filter you could order them in order of the, the amount of percentage change etc